Hey team, how's it going? My name is Joey Sharafi. I'm a filmmaker, a content creator, and a producer. I'm here to talk about the Dream Program. Now this program is designed in order to help people realize what their real dreams are in life, how to take practical steps towards those dreams, and how to find a support system that allows you to take that next step in your life. If you're interested about getting up off of that couch, about living a new life full of abundance, then just follow me now on this dream program. It's a free program. It's something that I designed that was based on a number of people's, um, you know, thought technology and whatnot that I decided I wanted to put it together. And for my friends, really, that were dealing with the mundane, living the same sort of life over and over and over again, we deserve more. We've got amazing things ahead. So make sure you stay with me on this. So now we're going to talk about a few things. The first step is what I like to call hacking the matrix and adding value to your life. So what I like to say is, you you know, escape your mindset that is limiting you, the limiting mindset, because the value of your mind is that if you don't control it, something else will. That's right. So we're going to go over in this first section, uh, haters and the world. You can't do it. What a lie. That's what they say. We're going to talk about why they say this and why you shouldn't listen to them. We're going to talk about why humans are dream machines and why everything starts with a thought. How powerful is that? Then we're going to move into mind shift, right? Now, if you can just visualize this for a moment, if you can cage the lion in your mind, in your heart, then it can't run the jungle. Now, we're going to dive into that a little bit deeper as we go into this. So the first part of this is based on The Matrix, the movie with Keanu Reeves, 1999. If you haven't seen it, it's a really good treat. I suggest going to see it because it has a number of things on a number of levels and messages and whatnot. So this one specifically, though, for our lesson is The Matrix is a system speech that Morpheus gives Keanu, that gives Neo uh, when they're walking in the system that kind of mirrors the matrix, which is the real world. There's a girl in a red dress and it kind of distracts him. So in this speech, it goes, the matrix is a system, Neo. The system is our enemy. But when you're inside, you look around, what do you see? Businessmen, teachers, lawyers, carpenters, the very minds of the people that we're trying to save. But until we do, these people are still a part of that system. And that makes them our enemy. You have to understand most of these people are not ready to be unplugged. And many of them are so inert, so hopelessly dependent on the system that they will fight to protect it most of the time it's because they don't know anything else and if they're not sure about it then it's a dangerous idea to them that could derail them from what they feel like is their normal uh, life giving job or uh, or just their normal sort of nine to five deal that they go to every day we want to try to find something that's not just life giving a nine to five we want to we want something to be amazing we want something to go to the stars and back we want something that's going to give a legacy to your life and your family and yourself so we're trying to go to the next level so we've got to understand that your culture sometimes your resources your education sometimes your parents sometimes your friends sometimes they're going to tell you that you can't do it you can't do it because they don't know how to do it themselves. And so also maybe there's a a voice inside their selves where they're saying, you are not valued enough. You don't have enough resources. You know what I mean? You're not this type of gender. You don't have this type of capital. You're not educated in this way, right? And maybe they're saying that they're projecting that on you because they feel it themselves. So you key the point, you can't listen to them when it comes to your dreams. You gotta find people who are gonna support your dream. We'll get into that later. Now, who's your Agent Smith? We go back to the Matrix. Who's your Agent Smith? Now, Agent Smith was this virus. He was the bad guy. And he was the one that wanted to to kill Neo. Right? So who's your Agent Smith? Who's telling that you must conform? That you can't do it? That you're not qualified? That who would listen to you? You don't make enough money and you're not good enough. Just remember this. Agent Smith went, went from trying to kill Neo... To wanting to be like him because there's power in that so the world wants to tell you what you're worth but most of the time it's a lie believed by people who have never done it and don't even know how to do it so key element don't listen to the haters you have to break the matrix in your mind and if there's a war it is for your mind no joke and if you cage that lion i love this if you cage the lion and it, it can't run the jungle but what if the cage wasn't real 
it was your imagination. You're creating your own blocks. You're self-sabotaging. If you're thinking that you're not good enough, that you can't obtain a goal, that your goal is too big, that you don't deserve it because of whatever reasons you've done in the past, look past that. Move forward. Gain that unstoppable momentum that will gain you so much abundance in your life. I promise you that. Now, look, we're going to talk about mind shift here. Because we got to mind shift in order to move forward, okay? So now look, Dr. Emoto, all right? He's a Japanese scientist who revolutionized the idea that our thoughts and intentions impact the physical realm, okay? And he's one of the most important water researchers the world has ever known. So for more than 20 years, he, you know, he passed away in 2014, but he studied the scientific evidence of how the molecular structure in water, okay, you with me? Molecular structure in water transforms what when it is exposed to human words. So the form of the water, it actually transforms when somebody puts a thought or an intention or a sound that makes sense or, or, or any sort of concentrated thought. Or So what they would do is they would bring these, these, uh, these Himalayan monks or people who meditate a lot, religious leaders, normal people. And what they would do is they would put them with this water and then they would capture photos of the water at the same time the person was using the the inspired intention or word and so what you had was love would come out looking like a snowflake love and gratitude snowflake very uh geometric you know beautiful geometric shapes when you would say something like you disgust me it would be like a jackson pollock painting just just like somebody threw paint everywhere jagged sort of edges of water everywhere so what's the point of this that we're saying? The point is, is that your thoughts affect matter. They physically affect the shape of water. And we are water beings. We're electric, magnetic bioorganisms that carry water in us. So think about how your thoughts affect your actual biology. Powerful stuff, if you really want to get into it. Quantum mechanics. You could talk about what the bleep do we know? We, we can hate it. We can love it. It doesn't matter. Whatever. Because this practice, this experiment has been done outside of that. But from where we found it and what the bleep do we know? Now, the double slit theory. All right. The double slit theory is the central premises is that the, the double slit experiment exposes two levels of reality. Subjective and perceptual reality. Objective and unknowable reality. So when the particles are detected passing through one of these slits, as you see it in the in the slide, two bands appear, photosensitive screen on, on the back to catch the waves associated with the interference pattern. So what's going on is that the, the plausible explanation of this is that perceived reality has an altered by detection. In effect, there is no collapse and the wave remains fully intact. But in the objective reality where it has always been, it is totally undetectable. So what does that mean? That means that small little pieces of matter, when they know that it's, when it knows, it knows that it's being detected, changes its trajectory to give us dirt, certain measurements. So when you're able to detect that it's acting one way when it's not being measured by a measuring device in, in, in a different measuring device causes it to change its trajectory. Now, that means that we affect the things around us. That means that we are interchangeable with our environment and, and vice versa, we're able to create amazing things. Somebody made this microphone out of a thought. Somebody made this screen out of a thought. Somebody made this table out of a thought. Everything that you think is important. So that's why I'm asking you to raise the level, raise the bar, it's now time to start conquering your life and living the life that you want and that you deserve. All right, this is section two. This is the goal, all right? So now allow yourself to imagine what dreams may come. I love that. So what are your goals? What are your dreams? We're going to cover what, what, what those should be and how does it look like. And sometimes it's not as easy as you think. Some people, you ask them, what's your goals? What's your dreams? And they're like, I have no clue. Okay, so it's okay. We're going to move forward. We're going to try and find these dreams. We're going to try and find what you get excited about so that life becomes special and sparkly and shimmery again, right? That's what we're going to do because that's what life's about. We're also going to find out what are your top reasons, top three reasons. What are your top reasons for being extremely wealthy? 
ask ask again and you're gonna get a lot of blank stares but don't worry we've got a plan and we're gonna move forward this is section two stay with me first off dream machines humans are dream machines in a sense because we literally live to dream and if we're not dreaming then this isn't in the sense of like we're sleeping and dreaming because yes we do do that we're meant to do that we do do that but i'm talking about a sense of living life with intention goals of dreams that you would want to come true for your legacy for your family for you what are things that you enjoy doing what are things that you would love to do some people don't even allow themselves to think of these things because they think that they don't deserve them or for other reasons maybe actions that they've had in the past but they need to understand you need to understand that you do deserve all this stuff and you you should obtain it now will you obtain everything if you put your mind to it, yes. I firmly believe that. Now, okay. Have the goal be obtainable to start with, right? And then slowly move up to get that. No, have it already. Get your big goals in line. Have a five-year goal that you want to accomplish. You want a yacht? You got to put it down. Put it down on the paper because then it doesn't really become real. You want, you want to own a house? Put it down on paper start making action plans right so now the thing the whole thing about dreaming is that how powerful dreaming is we talked about in the first section of how powerful thoughts and intentions are so now imagine that we join these these principles in unionship with some dream goals imagine that your intent the powerful intent that you have could be used towards obtaining your goals your dreams daily that's where life starts getting fun because your choices start backing up your goals that you want to obtain. And when you obtain a goal, you get hit with a huge dose of, of oxytocin and serotonin and dopamine, these amazing chemicals that your body makes naturally that I like to call natural crack. Now, if you want to be a natural crackhead, I don't know if I should coin that or not, but this is a good way to get a hold of that natural crack, that 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 feeling of goodness that your body is naturally creating through a healthy, wonderful, sustainable way that is also helping you and, and hopefully furthering your legacy and obtaining you, getting you closer to your goals. So just remember, humans are dreams ma machines and everything has begun with a thought. The light bulb, thought. Movies, thought. Uh, statues, thought. Great pieces of art, paintings, all from thought. Even the smallest things, like a, a lug nut or something, or or a, a screw, a nut, a bolt. These things all come from thought. So even if the smallest thought, it could mean the biggest thing. So just don't don't outshoot those thoughts that you may have that could maybe revolutionize an industry. Now, let's talk about it. What are your dreams? What are your goals? What would you love love to do? That would that would you could create you could make money you could create stability and a, a thriving foundation for you and for your loved ones. Doesn't that sound amazing? So what are those goals? Let's write them down, okay? If you have a moment, let's let's get some notes stuff out. Let's let's write down, follow with the book, the workbook and the presentation, and and write down some goals. Get yourself three. Get yourself three good goals let's say that you let's make a yearly goal let's make a bi-yearly goal and let's make a weekly goal you know and and what are what are some of these like goals that you would love to obtain love to obtain would you love to go on a trip somewhere that you find special would you like to have enough money to buy a certain type of shoe these are all things that you're allowed to do someone tells you you're not allowed to want something nice it's okay to want something nice. It's okay to want to push yourself in a positive way so that you have the resources in order to joy life. All right? So let's let's also talk about what are your top three reasons for being extremely wealthy? Why do you want to be extremely wealthy? You want to be able to hop on a jet and go anywhere in the world whenever you want with no problems? Do you want to be able to finance endeavors that are going to be able to set you and your family up for long-term financial stability? Sure. Do you want to help out be uh, be a helper of, of the human race and help feed people in uh, lower quality areas. These are all things that are really admirable and that you can do. But you have to have practical steps. And the first step is you need to write it down. 
Things will not come true as fast if you don't write them down. 